So hi guys, in the last video we made our program more user friendly by uh, you know adding this interactivity with JavaScript where the application doesn't need a bu button anymore because it is interactive and if you need to, just to change a number you just put a return. So that's one step towards enhanced user friendliness. Another step which is the numbers. I don't like the way the numbers are output and there's a better way, there must be a better way to do that. Now the problem here is, our problem is that we have sometimes big numbers like this and I, you know what bothers me with those big numbers, do I need all those decimal places? And then we have some extremely small numbers and uh, uh, put it this way and you know how do I show these numbers and I would like for us to put some formatting conditions for that and in very early in this series we, we, we have done some formatting some string formatting um, with with Python and if you recall we had something like this print and then open string let's say blah blah and then we had something like this and we said like um, uh, colon and then dot 2f and then close uh, close uh, curly braces and then blah blah again and then end of string and then we had then the format and then in format the number came in for 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 this for this placeholder and we had we had this number then rendered to two decimal places and back then it was the world was much simpler because we applied that format to any number that came in now here the problem is like i mentioned it's like we have sometimes some big numbers, huge numbers, and sometimes some minute numbers. And what these E's mean is that we have like 13 decimal places. So that decimal point moves to the left 13 places. So you have like 12 leading zeros ahead of the 5. So that number is basically 0 point, then 12 zeros, and then 5, 3, 9, and so on. And this number is even smaller because that, that number would be zero point and then 14 zeros and then five, three, nine, nine, and so on. Right, so we're gonna improve the format here. Now, how do we go about it? Well, we actually, we know how to go, how to go about it. It's a very simple thing. It's basically we use this formatting or these formatting techniques with uh, an if condition. And the way it goes is like this. Now, first of all, we don't have uh, a variable called converted value. Our converted value is being extracted directly from the function, from our conversion function. So what we do here is let's have a converted value variable and let's set it to empty initially. And then now let's get down to our work. Well, what what is it? Well, if and then if what well if uh, here conversion output converted value is what is smaller than now here we have to put some boundaries well let's put the boundary as such four zero if it's smaller than that any number smaller than that would be a number with five leading zeros these kind of numbers they should be um, displayed in uh, scientific notation. Scientific notation is basically this E stuff. Uh, and then we'd have here, well, then converted value would be equal to, and then I open up the string, do my curly brace, zero, that's the placeholder for the number, colon, and then here, the 1.2E. What does that mean? Well, it should have, one number ahead of the decimal point, two numbers behind the decimal point, and then E in capital means that that E should be should be represented in, in a, as a capital E. 
I prefer a capital E, and that's why I will put it like this, you know, anybody else could say, oh, I prefer a, a, a lowercase e, okay, then put it like this, then you'd have this here. So I'd have an uppercase e, and then I close that, so that's my format, and then I come to the stuff we know already, which is basically, uh, I will get then my value, basically the value of the function, okay, and th then I close oh yeah i've got to also cast that to a float because uh, let me maximize that because it is given out by the function as a string so and then close and close and then close that uh no hold it. Oh, that's something wrong here the string should be here right the uh, closing string should be here right now we have a parentheses are are also okay. So great. So we have now if conversion outputs are smaller than this for for any number with five leading zeros, it should be displayed as in scientific notation, right? So that deals with one with those extremely small numbers. What about the huge numbers? Well, then let's copy that. And here we just say else if or elif uh, here any number bigger than so any number from a thousand and beyond what about these well these should get the following they should get a point two f and I'm go we're going to change that soon point two f and that's it all right looks right and then anybody else is somewhere in between and those get an else and these get uh, let's say five decimal places okay great let's save that and now let's test run it uh, right, let's let's try it out. Uh, kilometer. Oh, I've done some mistake. Let me go back. What is my error? Oh, I got it. I forgot the colons. Right. Now that should work. If I now change the conversion to meters. So now. Uh, why isn't why is it showing like this? This shouldn't be happening. I, have I got something wrong here? Let's try it out again. Oh, I got it. I That's very, 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 very silly of me. I must put the converted value variable in here, in the outputs. I'm still outputting directly from the function. I should like, put this new variable just created. I should put it here. And now, now it should work. That's extremely silly. We've done all the work and I haven't inserted in the outputs. So now let's give it a shot. Let's try it out again. Now you see here, this is the old result. Very bad. And if I do another return, now this is the new result. I'm getting 1.2 decimal places, e to the minus something, I, instead of the old result we had previously. Okay? Right. And if I pick a big number, that is the stuff in between, i.e. those five decimal places. And those are very big numbers. And the big numbers are with two decimal places. Okay, so we have all aspects covered. And now we can apply the same stuff for our uh, conversion factors. So we basically do the same thing. You know what, let me just uh, copy that goes much faster and here and then we say conversion factor and uh, yeah let's we can just find and replace that with conversion factor and let's get started just let me replace 
uh, replace, 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 replace. It's a very convenient tool. So, and that's it. Right, so we have conversion factor. If conversion output conversion value is smaller than that, then same as above, 1.2e, and yep. If conversion factor, same thing, and here the same thing, right. And all we gotta do now is again here, that's what but I forgot the previous time, conversion factor, just have that here. And now save it, reduce that, and now we should have both uh, in the same format. Let's try it out again. And there you go, two decimal places. And if I have a huge number, still two decimal places, if I take it to in between, you have those five decimal places for the conversion factor here as well. It's a smaller number. And if I enlarge that number, then I'll get it gets reduced to two decimal places. And if I make that number extremely small, then I'd go into the uh, scientific notation. So now we've made our application much more user friendly in terms of its outputs and it's much more pleasant and, and you can read it in a much better way.